crisp as red. A S M R. Hello. So now we move on to the extremely important subject of teeth. And I don't mean herbal tea in the fancy packaging. I'm talking about good, old, wholesome, reliable English tea. I'm going to show you how to make a cup. in most of the households in England these days. Forget teapots, forget loose tea. This is the nitty gritty of British society, right here. So, for an example, here are two cups I made earlier. Right. Here we have, as you can see, two very different cups of black tea. No. This one here, I would call a northern cuppa, a northern cup of tea, cuppa for short, that's very important, today's lesson. And here is a builder's tea. Quite a few differences here and I shall explain. The northern copper is lighter in colour, so it is brewed for less time and it has more milk. And this tea, which is the builder's copper or the builder's tea, is darker in colour and it even has the tea bag still in there common characteristic of the builder's tea and the very essential chip in the mug builder's teas are working class hard working hard earning cups of tea for the backbone of English society. Hence the chip. Okay, so for this video I'm going to show you how to make a northern cuppa because that is my favourite and there is a specific knack to it. I actually learned how to make this particular cuppa after years and years of research and decided that this was the tea for me in my adulthood and I have stuck to this method every day three or four times a day ever since I was raised by tea drinkers and I'm talking about hardcore tea drinkers. I know my stuff.
so to make the perfect northern cuppa you will need tea bags a mug or cup preferably white and a teaspoon now when I say preferably white for me personally I prefer to have a plain white cup so that I can properly taste the tea without any distraction of colour I am the same with dinner plates as well I prefer a plain dinner plate the food stands out and I can taste it better. With regards to tea bags, whichever brand you prefer is absolutely fine. I try a few different brands and I like to change my tea taste sometimes. So you take a tea bag and seems like the one for you're looking at is a typical one cup tea bag. They are very often round. Sometimes you can buy them with a pyramid shape. Either shape is fine as far as I'm In the bottom of the cup. Now, some people like to add their milk next. I am 100% against this, though that may cause some controversy, because I feel as though if I was to put the milk in now, then some of the tea bag would absorb milk and brew properly and I would waste some of the milk and I don't want to do that so the tea bag goes in and next I'm going to pour the water so here I have a freshly boiled kettle of water and I'm going to very slowly pour the water into the cup, like so. And if you look carefully, you will see the steam rise from the cup. And we pour until about there. We leave about a centimetre of space. the liquid to the top of the cup and we wait and we wait and we wait and then we take our teaspoon and place the teaspoon in the mug. And we scoop the bag. Okay, now this is very important and a vital part. 
part of the process. We grab the bag. So you need good practice at this. Strong skin, thick skin, accustomed to the heat. This comes with practice. And you press and you hold the bag against the cup. And we squeeze just once. Ready? And straight away, we discard the tea bag. No more brewing. Gone. You will see here that this particular tea making surface has lots of residue from previous tea ceremonies. That is to be expected and is part of the process and makes the whole tea ritual something that a little bit more special. Now, we have brewed our tea. You can see the steam flowing up from the cup. And now we are about to pour in our milk. Now, milk. I prefer to use organic because it is creamier, but whichever milk you would like to use is absolutely fine. Most likely you will find that semi-skimmed is the usual. I like to use semi-skimmed. For skimmed milk, the tea just doesn't really taste very milky. And contrary to what some people may assume about English tea, the milk is not poured into a separate jug. The milk for the tea comes straight from the fridge. We don't have time for teapots. We don't have time for jugs of milk. When tea is necessary, Tea is necessary now, not in 15 minutes time, okay? So I take the lid off my milk and I very carefully pour to the top. Done. Place the lid and we put the milk straight back in the fridge. There we go. Now normally our tea bag would be thrown in the bin, but when they're still quite warm, I prefer to hold on to them for a little bit and throw them all away. You will see that if a northern cup of tea is made in the south, you may find that there are lime scale marks on the top of the tea, just across the surface. This is because the water in the south is harder than the water in the north. And we just skim it off the top. Wipe it on a tea towel and give it a stir. There we are. And there we have it. A northern cuppa, ready to drink around a table, ready to discuss current affairs, whether it be 
national or local. Usually the affairs discussed will be, um, let's just say, recent events regarding one's husband, or recent events regarding one's friend. Many an issue has been solved over a good cuppa. They are used to combat stress. They are used to fill one's stomach when one is busy and doesn't have time to eat anything. They are used to wake oneself up in the morning. as an excuse to sit down. And they are used to comfort a friend or a family member. I can honestly say that there isn't a situation in life that can't be improved slightly with the aid of a nice hot cuppa. So before I go, I may just mention that, at this stage in the proceedings, sugar can be added to the tea. That is here. In my case, the sugar here is for any guests that may come because I do not take sugar myself. As you know, I am sweet enough. But if sugar is required, then I prefer to use granulated sugar. And fair trade and unrefined. Okay. So that is our tutorial on how to make a northern copper. I do hope you enjoyed that, and I shall see you very soon. Take care.